day one walleye camp. It's morning, it's early. The sun has not risen yet. Right now the plan of the attack is, obviously I'm staying here for a couple of nights on the ice, but right now the plan of the attack is just to grab the ranger. Adam's with me as well. He's coming out to hunt some big walleyes. Gonna go fish the morning and then probably around noon time, come back to the trailer, load up with all the camping gear and uh, the auto resort and all that stuff and take it out there and set up for the next couple of days. But right now, morning fishing is on the agenda first. Arrived at the first destination. This will be where I'm probably setting up my camp. I'm gonna move around throughout the day though too and do some run and gun with the ranger and hit some other spots. But this is kind of where I'll probably have my camp set up. So we're gonna start here for the morning, see how it is and uh, go from there. So grab the auger, pop a few holes, put on the head camera, get the main camera out and uh, yeah, catch some fish. Oh, 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 there's a mark coming through the rocks right now. Here we go, come on. Come on, it's on me. It's down on the rocks, I'm just gonna tap it on the bottom. Pull it up now. I saw a mark there, it flashed in totally. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, rising. Oh, got him, big. Yeah, good fish, big, good head shakes. Oh, this rod is so cool. I'm using the 50 inch rod from Frostbite. You wanna grab my transducer, Adam? Just so I want to step down yet. Good head shakes. I don't think it's a, it's not a great big one, but it is nice. Oh no, it's big. It's big. It's big. I got it. It's big. It's big. Well, that is a morning. You come with me, Adam. That is a toad. <laughs> First fish of the day. Look at it. It's so perky. Get your, that is unreal. Man, I played with that thing for a, not that long. Look at those crazy colors on that thing. I'm going to get it back in here quick. What a way to start. Honestly, you guys, this is probably a, uh, it's probably a 30 inch walleye to be honest it's 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 a toad like it's big it's big <laughs> what a start to walleye camp day one unreal man it's a toad like i don't even know how big to be honest but i i'm not messing with it it's we're fishing outside it's got to be adam what is that like it's got to be you got a plastic board? Yeah, okay, Adam's got a plastic board. If it doesn't kick off before he uh, gets back, we'll give it a quick measure, but honestly, it's gotta be, I don't know, 31 inches probably. It's a toad. It's a toad. Oh, that's a nice bump board. Like, that's a big fish. Yeah, it's 30, 31, exactly what I thought it was. 31 inches, baby. Unreal. <laughs> well, we're back. We are back. Wow. Unreal. There she goes, back down hard. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> Finally, the curse is lifted and it took a total of, I don't know, 10 minutes, first mark. I've been struggling this year. This is my sixth trip on the ice. I have like, it's not even I've caught anything big. I've literally caught probably 10 fish total. That felt so good. No bait, nothing, come up, choked, slender spoon right there. Like I said, using the new 50 inch run and gun from Frostbite. It's the ultimate like standing up outside. I probably won't use it in the shack, but fishing outside like this, it's deadly. Deadly. This is a pretty slick board Adam's using here. Musky bumper. I have a big one, but this is like the ultimate walleye one, 36 inches. Uh, Cindy, I know what I want for Christmas. Right there. We are back. 31 inch tank. I'm so grateful that Adam had that board right there. If I'd have been by myself, I wouldn't even have measured it right there because I just would have had it back down in the hole. When you're fishing outside, especially when you're by yourself, you don't have time to mess around with anything. You just got to get that fish back. But because he was here, he could run grab the board. I held the fish in the water. He brought, actually brought me over pliers and a board. I held the fish down there, took care of it, brought it out, measured it, shot it back down. So super, that fish hardly spent any time out of the water. Like what I'm rolling, when I rolled that clip, there's no editing of it. Like that's legit. That's the whole time spent out of the water. You pull the fish out, you lay it on the board, you take a picture with it, you bring your buddies over, you take pictures with it. The fish is gonna be out of the water forever. 
I watched a video the other day of a guy's top three biggest walleyes. The third walleye was on the ice for no lord of a lie, two minutes and 20 seconds laying there. What are you doing, you guys? You can't do that. I'm all about people wanting to do YouTube, Instagram influencers, whatever you want to do. But if you're not taking care of the resource first, you're doing it for the wrong reason. And I'm going to get a little bit pitchy about this in the start of this video. And I'm going to drop the subject, the subject from there. Think about the resource first, please. Well, it's only been about 20 minutes since I caught that fish. Haven't marked another fish. Adam has one mark come in, but wasn't very big. He's going to drill some holes out there. I'm going to maybe drill some holes out this way a little bit. It's always good to just kind of move around a little bit, bounce around until you kind of find where you want to be. This spot that I'm fishing now, I've had a lot of years experience with and caught some big fish here in the past. So that's kind of why I started here. And obviously it's good. So part of me wants to move, part of me wants to, st to, to stay. I've got some Cisco's moving through here. Got marks coming through, but not a lot. The odd one here and there. It's 10 30. It's been pretty slow, obviously, because I haven't caught another fish since that tanker. But we've got we've got faith. We've got faith. And we've got like three days too, which is unbelievable. It's just beginning. Hope we catch some fish to eat, cook. Got some uh, tenderloin from my white-tailed deer to cook up at some point. Life is good. Well, a 12 o'clock update. Bite is slow. And by I mean slow, I mean very slow. I've caught one fish this morning between Adam and I, or Adam and I, I should say, but uh, haven't marked a lot either. So hopefully there's still more to come at some point. I'm about a half hour away from running back to my truck and trailer and getting out my camping gear. And I think this is where I'm gonna set up. I think first what I'm gonna do actually is bring everything out and then Adam and I are gonna check out another spot which uh, has some potential for the ice fishing season. And if it's really good, maybe we move out there. I'm not sure. But for now, I've got a half an hour left before I actually do move that over. So we're gonna fish this first. Really the day's already been made with that one fish. That's like a huge relief. But of course the guy wants to catch more. We wanna catch some fish for catch and cook on the ice type of thing and all that goodness. So we will keep trying. For now, fishing out here, moved out just a little bit to try to cover some more water. And it's all you can really do is like, if it's slow, you have two options. You sit and wait it out or you move around. And right now it's nice out, no gloves. Again, it's been beautiful weather this year so far. Very, very fortunate. Left my sunglasses in the truck though. So I'm looking forward to those things at some point. Just gotta keep grinding away. There's that word, grinding. Got a slick setup with the Ranger right here, the little holes fit the rods nice. I got five rods I can cruise around with. And I brought up the heater even though I have a shack right now, just in case my hands got cold or anything. Of course, camera gear, uh, the Otter Sportsman's Caddy, which I got all my pliers tackle in. Some extra batteries, of course, some orange juice, which is a little bit frozen. And then this is my, right here, what I like right here, I got the Helix 7 mounted up on the dash there that I can uh, use the auto charting and uh, all the maps and everything that I've done over the, the years, waypoints. It's kind of funny, the fish that I caught literally come out drilled right on a waypoint from the past. Mark your, your big fish spots. If you pull a big fish out, mark a waypoint and don't be scared to try there again because a lot of times those big fish will use the same areas over and over year after year. The same note, don't get stuck fishing memories. If it's not happening, don't be scared to move around. And that'll be the thing about the base camp is it'll be here, but I'll still be able to try other places. There's a couple of beautiful days out uh, coming here, like plus two, plus three degrees Celsius, obviously above freezing, even at Fahrenheit. And I'll be able to move around a little bit and try some different spots with the Ranger. Being super careful though, there is eight inches ice. So anywhere that we're going new, I'm gonna be drilling and checking. Adam will be fishing with me today. I think he might come out again tomorrow, but it'll just me kind of be staying overnight anyway. I'm back at the trailer here just to kind of get the rest of the gear. I'm going to make some soup first on my uh, little cooker here, which I'll do a little, little video of, and I'll maybe do show you a quick, uh, quick breakdown of some of the gear that I have with me, but I'm going to do a double sleigh here behind the Ranger and haul all the gear out there. Adam's still fishing. So at least, uh, 
he'll keep me updated if it kind of turns on out there. So far been pretty slow, but right now the mission is pack all the gear up, have a quick bite to eat and get back out there. And then we're probably gonna jump in the Ranger and do a little bit of running and gunning and check in some new areas. Time for some soup. I'm not sure when my audio died, if it died as I was making a soup or whatever, but I had some warm soup, chicken noodle Lipton, so good. The little cooker I got. A little out of breath just because I'm all finished loading. Lots of work. I've got a lot of gear. Look at that dun double tandem otter sleigh here hooked up to the Ranger. I've got a bigger cover on this sleigh right now just because I got it kind of loaded. So it looks kind of funky, but I'm loaded to the nines to head back out to uh, probably set up camp where I caught the big fish and then move out from there. I'm thinking it would be probably the best bet. Yeah, lots of gear. <laughs> I'm glad I'm here for more than just one night. This is kind of like a two or possibly three night thing. We'll see how it goes. This will be multiple videos. This is the first one. This video I'll have or set up camp yet and uh, maybe a little bit of night fishing type of thing and then we'll, we'll end it there. We've still got a long ways to go in this video or it feels like it anyway, but we're ready. Let's go back out. How good does this look though, really though? Man, camping on the ice. It's a lot of work, especially early season. If you either have to walk out or take the quad and you can't just drive your truck out there, but it's so much fun. Okay, we have found the spot we want to set up. I used my little uh, AquaView camera, kind of looked around. I got some nice boulders and stuff around me, but not right in one of my fishing holes. So I've got one hole drilled there already for the fishing aspect of it, and then probably one for the camera, or I might drill another one at some point. But I'm gonna have two holes in the shelter where I'm fishing. We're going to get the big camera over here, set it up and pop up the resort. I'm staying in the Otter Resort this time. The last time I did a camping video, I used the Monster Lodge, and I just wanna see how much room is in the resort compared to the Monster Lodge and compare the two. I still feel like the Monster Lodge will be the ultimate like overnighter shack, because you can kind of separate yourself a little bit from your sleeping area to like your fishing area, but I'm also confident the resort will work quite well as well. Can we say well so many more times today? Well, we'll just see if we can get set up now. We're starting to get super dialed in. This is awesome right now. Obviously, saw me put up the resort hub. I've got in there, gonna have hole over there to fish, right there, hole right there to fish, and then the quad camera in the middle. And then over here, I'll probably put my table, caught, and yeah, all the goodies right now though, it's pretty slick on the outside with the uh, Otter uh, little uh, sidekick there. I've got two rods on the go, so I got the old jig in the minna down there right now on this side and over there, I've got just a jigging spoon. I can grab and fish, fish fast if I need to, but I'm just trying to fish at the same time I get everything set up. Getting everything set up is literally the hardest part of the whole ordeal, hauling it out, unpacking it, you know, you get a little hole, to, even though the doors are pretty big size, they're still, you know, you gotta take everything in there. I've overpacked, of course. Temperature is really nice though. So a lot of stuff I'm just keeping outside, which is gonna be super handy. We'll take minimal stuff inside. We'll get nice lights in there, hopefully get into some burbot throughout the evening. It would be awesome. The, the biggest thing I'm excited for is I get a fish 24 hours, lines in the water all the time. It's gonna be an awesome couple days. Oh, there we go, here we go, here we go, come on, come on, it's on the bottom, so I can pull him up, oh yeah, come on, come on, come on buddy, here he goes, come on, come on, oh come on, come on, come on, 
Fire down to the sand. Yeah, come on. Come on. Oh, eat it out of the sand. I dare you. Come on. Okay, eat it up high then. Nope, back down. Here he comes. Come on. Oh, you dirty, dirty fish. Oh yeah, there you go. Grab it out of that sand. Come on. Oh, come on, why are you so finicky? Why are they so finicky? It's a good mark. Oh, here he comes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, I got him to charge it all the way to 18 feet. Like, he was super aggressive with that. Right past him, right down to the sand again. It's a good mark. Here he comes again. Come on. Come on. Come on. Big mark. Big mark. Just can't get him to go. He's big. Come on now. Back down. Let's try this one more time. No, it did not like that. I should get a rattle bait down there quick. Let's try a rattle bait quick. That fish is like aggressive. I just can't get him to eat. I can't get him to eat. Oh, I don't have a rattle bait hooked up as if. Okay, quick move. The shack. It's going to be tough on the cameras. We're going to probably fog up, but we're going to do it. It's just, it's getting cool out right now. I want to move to the shack room. nice and comfy. We're just going to do it quick. We're going to go in there, pop the trans, the flasher down, turn the heater on, and we'll work with the cameras. We'll do our best. I'm gonna have a little snack here, some honey roasted peanuts as we wait for a monster to come by. Slowly starting to get everything kind of unfogged here, the cameras, I'm starting to get better for sure. Not the best thing to be moving at that time of the night. While as I was moving, Adam caught this guy for me right here. Adam caught me a luncher, an eater. I'm going to be cleaning that up and uh, cooking him sometime tonight, probably. Maybe some uh, Cajun walleye, I'm thinking. Blackened walleye, one of my favorite. I'm a little bit hungry here, though. I haven't eaten anything since that soup at all. And uh, eat some honey, honey roasted peanuts. Mm, mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm Good. I really need to get a light on my camera. Had a couple, couple chances, but no dice. But where's all the walleye? Cisco's are moving through. Oh, oh, I just got a fish right now, hon. Your good luck. Cindy called. And uh, I finally caught a fish. I think it's a Cisco though. I'm pretty sure it's a Cisco. I've been playing with all these marks for a little while already. No, it's actually a little walleye. Wow, so those are little walleye that are down there so picky. Okay, so I, you know what? It's even too small for supper, honey. I have, really? yeah, Adam got me one for supper though. So that's good. Nice. But this is my second, this is my second fish of the day. How sad is that? Cindy said that's sad. Aw. Cindy, I have feelings. I caught a 31 incher, you know, today. Cindy, you need some snacks. I have snacks. You gotta go that way, bud. Back down. 
There you go. Okay. I have snacks. I have your uh, protein balls that you packed me too. I have licorice for you. Lick licorice. Well, what good is what good is licorice going to do me when I'm here? I have it for you to take. Oh. And I have little Christmas oranges. Oh, well, that's okay. I'm going to probably have some fresh fish tonight in here. It's going to be perfect. I'm going to call you back in a little bit, hon. Hey, I got a bunch of fish down here right now. Okay. Okay, bye. Currently sitting in the shelter here. I got kind of a little bit of a disaster right now. Look at pants are hanging. I'm in comfy pants here. Shoes, we're enjoying it. We're fishing. It is, what time is it? It's 7.48. So it's later in the evening here. Got lots of marks coming through, but mostly smaller, not really doing much. I'm gonna keep the rod obviously in the water all night. We are gonna cook up a walleye. That one right there, which Adam so graciously caught for me. Thank you, Adam. You're the best. You are the best, Adam. Thanks for coming out today. I appreciate it. And uh, I know he's coming back out tomorrow again. Dropped him off of the truck there a little bit while ago. And he had a tough day too. We caught three fish, two walleye, one Cisco. I caught two fish. Very tough day, like really tough day, but the fish just weren't around. Tomorrow we're gonna do a run and a gun thing. Hardcore, but that's tomorrow. We're still got this video to work on here. We're going to uh, clean up this fish and then I'm gonna cook it. It's, a, it's a, a recipe I've done twice on this channel, but never while ice fishing in a shelter. I'm gonna do a blackened Cajun walleye fish. It's one of my favorites. It's super simple because it's just the fish and spices. There's no flour or anything like that. So we're going to cook it up. I'm not going to do the cleaning process on uh, video this time. I'll do one in the future. I think I like to do some cleaning videos, but I want to make them just like, this is how I clean a walleye. Not how everybody has to, but this is how I clean a walleye. This is how I clean a pike, etc. So we'll get that fish cleaned up and we'll cook them up and it's gonna taste good. Okay, so if you watch my summer videos or you see my cooking videos or you watch this channel and it's not just the ice fishing stuff you watch, I apologize, you've seen this recipe before. But we'll do it one more time because it's so good. I enjoy it, it's a super easy one. Right now I just got some water just kind of boiling there to wash that pan up a little bit. But here, just take my fish fillets and all I'm gonna do is hammer in that Cajun I'm gonna coat them really, really good. And I'm gonna have some hot butter in there and we're gonna put those fish and that's all it is to it. Fish in there. And then if I really get hungry, I can eat them minners. I should try a jig and a minner here maybe with a dead stick. There, it's good. Let's get some butter going here and get it nice and hot. Hot is key, hot butter. Okay, it's canola. And sunflower oils. Oh, it is margarine. Okay, I lied. I'm using margarine, not butter. Sorry. You should use butter, but somehow I ended up with margarine. Okay, taking our fish, hammering it in the coating hard. Squish it in there, good. Another piece. Three piece. I think I like this recipe just so much because it's actually pretty easy. And four piece. Pretty smoky in here. Just I'm burning the butter. It's okay. Okay. Hot butter. Or hot margarine, I should say. Oh yeah, hot. Blackened walleye. Blackened walleye. Be a good time for that to go off. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. Looks good. I don't know if I'm gonna do blackened walleye in the shelter again. It gets a little smoky in here. 
but that looks good. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Let's crack a few windies here. Whew. Finished product. Not gonna lie, I smoked myself in here pretty good. A little hazy. Black and white, maybe not the best in a shelter. But look at how good that looks. Wow. Okay, we're going to simple. The fish, some cheese, and orange juice. There's nothing in the orange juice besides orange juice. I like orange juice on the camping trips because sometimes the propane heat can make your throat a little sore. Orange juice I find really good on these types of trips. So we're going to eat up and then we'll uh, have a little wrap up here. Well, supper was good. It's 10 o'clock at night now. I've kind of just hung out here for a little bit, hoping maybe I would get some fish action or something like that. It uh, didn't happen at all. So it didn't light just a little bit. I had two good marks come in. No dice. I think they were burbot. They were like long marks. You could tell it was like red and then like just a long stretched old green mark. But looked like burbot. I've had some smaller marks come in too now. But I'm pretty sure they're just either tiny walleye or ciscos or some kind of bait fish, something like that. I'm going to give you just a small tour and explain my setup just a little bit in here quick. It's a disaster. I'm not going to lie. Stuff is everywhere right now. This is the Otter Resort Hub. This is probably my favorite hub shelter I have. If I could only have one shelter, it'd be the Resort Hub, hands down. Now, I did a video last year with the Monster Lodge, and I'm liking that setup a little bit better for the overnight camping. That being said, if you weren't filming and had <laughs> camera, charging station, like this is a disaster. I've got so many things on the go right now, charging. My whole shack is pretty much powered by Dakota Lithiums. I got a power pack right there, as you can see. And then I got a power pack over there that was running the GoPro on the flasher before. I just I just swapped out this battery with the flasher just to make sure I have enough. But anyways, where I was going with this is I got stuff everywhere. Like it is a disaster. I didn't even set up a cot tonight. I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try uh, sleeping in this chair with like a stool and yeah, put, use my sleeping bag still and whatever and try to get some sleep like that. Comment below and tell me the best zero gravity chair out there. I've heard they're very good for what I want to do for sleeping on the ice uh, in a shelter like this. But a few people say zero gravity chair. So comment below and let me know the best one out there. I need to know. I want a zero gravity chair. I'm not a big fan of the cot. I just don't sleep well on a cot. I'd honestly rather sleep in my truck, but I want to have my rods in the water, my lines in the water the whole time. So anyways, little heater, obviously buddy heater. I uh, have a carbon monoxide detector too that I'll have running. Got the camera. I've got a couple uh, buckets there with the Otter Sidekick. I even got some peanuts left in there yet that I was snacking on before. Chair, camera gear. Laptop, I'm already dumping footage for this video and put it on a memory card. And like I said, stuff uh, ever, stuff everywhere. Tomorrow I'm gonna make Adam some sausage buns and stuff like that. So I'm keeping the buns in here so they don't freeze overnight. And uh, yeah, I wanna step outside. I wanna show you one more thing that's new this year with the otter shelters and then you can still buy it too for your other shelters. But this is a, this is a pretty cool idea for the overnight trips. First, I do have a generator that I'm running out there, obviously to charge all of my batteries for the shack. It's needed for me for sure. It's a very good uh, generator, starts vet well, except for when it's super, super cold though, you gotta put it inside, but it started well today. But here we go. Look at my blinking light. I'll show it more in the daytime in my next video but there's a flag now with uh, a beacon on it that I think is an awesome addition to the hubs. This will basically help you from getting hit by a snowmobiler at night or basically, I don't know, just let people know you're out there. 
type of thing. It's just a good, it's a good addition for sure. So thank you everybody for watching this uh, first video, the first day. So let's see if I get decent lighting here for a wrap up. Uh, this series will be hopefully two, two more videos yet. This is the first series. Tomorrow is a hardcore walleye day, run and gun with Adam, and I don't know what the day three will bring. At some point, I'm gonna play around with the underwater camera as well, but I'm kind of just waiting until I get on some fish at some point. So thank you so much for watching, everybody, and uh, don't forget, get outside. <laughs>